If you have in coffee with me, I'd welcome you to my tangle of words. The tea is ready. By that, I mean that the water in the kettle is boiled. Do with that information what you will. By now, you should know your way around. There's a word that's been making the rounds on social media. I don't know if you have run into it yet. Delulu. The term was popularized in the K-pop community where it was used to describe or make fun of fans that believed they would date, marry, or befriend their favorite idols. Being Delulu is said to describe someone who holds unrealistic or overly idealistic beliefs or fantasies. It is derived from the word delusional. While it is mostly a sarcastic way of saying delusional, some people have embraced it, making being Delulu the only Solulu. If you're having coffee with me, I'll tell you that I've always wondered if there's any connection between the moon and human behavior. I found out that the word lunatic comes from the Latin word lunaticus, which means moonstruck or affected by the changes of the moon. There is no conclusive research of the correlation between phases of the moon and behavior. Maybe it's just that people notice it more when people act unhinged during the full moon nights than they would at the times. It was a full moon night the other day. There was supposed to be a partial lunar eclipse, but I forgot to keep track of the moon and see the effect. That was also the night we had the Rugby World Cup final between South Africa and New Zealand. Naturally, I was waiting for South Africa, as it was a neighborly sort of thing to do. And being African, supporting a fellow African team, you would agree isn't a Dululu, right? Apparently not. Zimbabweans have been ridiculed for supporting the Springboks, that is the South African rugby team, and labeled as international orphans. The hurtful words implied that our country is so broken that we would rather adopt other nations. Anyway, South Africa won the 2023 Rugby World Cup and I don't need to spell out the responses our president's congratulatory message to the people of South Africa received on social media. If you're having coffee with me, I'll tell you that according to the government, the challenges that have befallen our countries are as a result of the sanctions imposed by Western countries. On 25th October, we commemorated Anti-Sanctions Day, which has become an annual event since its inception a couple of years back, although it's no longer a public holiday as was the inaugural event. The spirit medium speaking on behalf of our ancestors say that they have interceded and mysterious things are going to start happening to countries that imposed sanctions on us. So yeah, the world has been warned, the moon waxes and wanes. And what's the opposition doing in all of this? Well, they've got some firefighting to do with their members of parliament getting recalled and new by-elections have been gazetted to fill in the positions and looks like the ruling party might just get its two-thirds majority in parliament and that will be that. And all we get is strategic ambiguity, platitudes and Bible verses. God is in it. But also can't blame them for keeping their plans if they actually have any close to their chest. Today, Job Sikala turns 51 and has been in prison for over 500 days and has not yet been convicted for his alleged crime, despite being denied bail several times. He's an opposition activist accused of incitement to violence who was vocal about anti-corruption. If you're having coffee with me, I'll tell you that at least the speculation of what would happen to the nation using foreign currency for domestic transactions has been put to rest for a spell. A statutory instrument extended the period to December 2030. If you haven't coffee with me, I'd ask you if you trusted your doctor if you saw them wearing a SpongeBob t-shirt and a stethoscope on TikTok. A TikTok sensation has fallen from grace after being revealed as a fraud pretending to be a doctor. Matthew Lani got apprehended when security footage picked him up at a hospital he pretended to work and he'll be charged with impersonating medical personnel. Dr. Lani 
had some serious delusions. Is it too early to get into the Christmas spirit or we have to wait until Halloween? Can one dress as Santa for Halloween in a sort of two-for-one special? What's been going on in your neck of the woods?